Jennifer Willett, Director of Incubator Art Lab at the University of Windsor. For the next two months, my team members and I will be doing the Sundays in the Studio workshops for the AGW. Hi, my name is Cadelia Dilly, and I'm so excited to be here today for Sundays in the Studio with the Art Gallery of Windsor. I'm here on behalf of the Incubator Art Lab, where I work as a research assistant. Today, I'll be showing you how to extract DNA from your own saliva and then isolating it using a homemade paper centrifuge. You will need a tablespoon of saliva, dish soap, four tablespoons of any alcohol, a pinch of salt, measuring spoons, and a stirring spoon. To your glass, add half a teaspoon of dish soap. After you added the dish soap, gently mix. The dish soap will break open the cells and the cell nucleus that contains your DNA. Add a pinch of salt and mix gently. The salt will help denature and precipitate the DNA. Add four tablespoons of any strong alcohol. I'm using 90% ethanol, but other alcohols like vodka will work. The alcohol will precipitate the DNA. Mix gently and wait for your DNA to be extracted. The white strands at the surface are your DNA and proteins from your saliva and mouth. To take your experiment one step further, you can also create a paper centrifuge to isolate your DNA. You will need a cardboard, a CD, a Sharpie, scissors, an X-Acto knife, a button, a pin, two pieces of two meter string, a dropper, tape, and two clear straws. First, trace the CD onto your cardboard with a Sharpie and cut out the shape. Then trace the button in the center of the cardboard. Using an X-Acto knife, cut out a circle slightly smaller than your button. Push the button through the hole in the center. Tape both sides. Poke holes through the button holes using a pin or cut a small section of tape covering the button holes using an X-Acto knife. Once the button is secure, take one string and thread it through one of the holes. Then thread it back through the opposite hole. Once the string is threaded through and even, tie the ends of the string. Do the same thing with your second string. Thread one end through one hole on the button, then thread it back through the opposite hole. The two strings should cross on the same side of the button, creating an X. Tie the second string. Pull the string that's crossed until both sides of your cardboard have equal amounts of string. Take one straw and bend an inch at the end and securely tape it. This will ensure the liquid will not leak when we pour the solution in the straw. Cut the straw so that it's two to three inches long. Using a dropper, collect liquid from around your DNA. Then place it in your straw until it's three quarters full. Leave room at the top to seal your straw. Bend and tape the top. Do the same thing with the second straw. This one will be your balance since there won't be much DNA in it. Make sure to label it so you can tell your two straws apart. Tape each straw on opposite sides of your cardboard disc to create balance. Make sure to also tape the bottom so the straws do not fall. Spin your paper centrifuge several times, then pull the strings tight until the cardboard spins rapidly. If your strings are too long, wrap them around your hands before spinning to achieve a faster spin. After spinning for 1-2 to two minutes, you should see buildup at the bottom of the straw. This is your DNA and proteins from your solution. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this video. 